Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the November 2019 reading for love for the sign of Capricorn. And this will be for Capricorn sun, moon, rising, as well as the signs. Or certainly if you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart. And we're going to be taking a look at what is happening for Capricorn. Now, obviously, being a general reading, this will not resonate with everybody. So please do go check out the other signs that make up your natal chart, as there will be additional messages in there for you. And often can resonate even more than your sun sign does. And cross watchers, I will be speaking to Capricorn. However, if you are dealing with a Capricorn and the message resonates that way, please do listen as it feels right to you and if it doesn't fit please don't make it fit as it certainly just means I'm not tuning into your vibration and if you haven't checked out the general readings for November those are already posted as well so do go check out the playlists I have on my on my site on my YouTube channel where um, I've put them together for you to make them easy for you to find. So with that, let's get going here and see what's going on for Capricorn and love. November 2019. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so what I'm feeling from this is there's some sort of a situation where either somebody has been really focused on their work, meaning this could be actual work in terms of finances and career, um, this can also just be doing their personal work of transformation. They've been very diligently focused on one thing here and perfecting this. And what's happening in November is there's something that is, is moving into something, an energy of more stillness, more calm. That you certainly may be traveling in the month of November with this person or to see this person or traveling near this person. But there is an offer coming in here of love here with this Knight of Cups. So let's get some more details here of what's happening in this situation. <coughs> Excuse me. We get three more cards. Oh, so we have the world here. Someone's become enlightened. Someone is clear. They've come to an end of a journey where they've been really busy at work. And they're moving forward here with, you know, things are getting a little bit more calmer, a little bit better. But there is still an energy of guardedness possibly coming in. Um, someone might feel a little bit defensive or needing to stand their ground here with this offer. Or maybe somebody's feeling a little bit like... Um, that the other people might not like what they're doing when they make this offer of love here. But let's get some more and keep the story going. Let's get another row of three. So we have the Hierophant, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Seven of Swords. So we have two sevens here in November coming in. These are the main energies, these top ones, when I do the spreads in this way. And I'll read the energies this way as well as this way. And so what I'm feeling is there's a big spiritual lesson tied to this offer. Meaning there could have been a lot of defensiveness. There could have been someone was picking their battles. And someone was really walking away from the crowd. It's like someone may have been with the, whatever this offer coming in could cause a stir in someone's world. And, and... You know, there is this energy of, this could have been something that some of you have been waiting for. Maybe you've kept your heart, your cards close because you've been waiting and you didn't think this would actually arrive. And then now here it is. You're almost a little bit surprised. Someone coming back possibly from ending a certain karmic cycle because it's, it's almost like they're presenting you this king crown and it's almost like, how did I deserve this? How did I earn this? I didn't even realize I was kind of just going on with my life, but I'm going to get another layer of cards here to get more of a sense of what's happening. Okay. So what is this eight of pentacles? The two of cups. Somebody has decided that they want this. Somebody is clear, very focused, on wanting a soulmate relationship, an equal partnership here. And what is completing with this world card? King of Wands, they're ready to take action. They've learned from their lessons. They've learned from their experiences. 
they now know where in the past they may not have followed through. They might have been a little impulsive, a little bit, you know, I'm hearing wandering eye, you know, next shiny new object kind of syndrome. However, that is what's ending here and they're ready to move forward here. And with the Hierophant and the Moon here, this is something that is highly intuitive and also a very big spiritual connection. So there could have been some fears that caused this to happen or that caused this person to, not the fears, it's like things weren't ready to be revealed quite yet. It also could be that somebody... Somebody wasn't quite seeing everything clearly. Trying to, it's like wondering if there was an illusion. Almost like they, they know that they want this. They've, they've focused on, they're focused on you, Capricorn. However, they may still, the lesson that they needed to learn was that they might have believed that it wasn't real with you, that it was an illusion or that it was, it just wasn't real wasn't happening in the daytime why is the six of swords here queen of pentacles so somebody's been very understanding in this situation um and because of this understanding and kindness and success things are just in a better place here but because someone is is because of someone's fears and anxieties and stress they're keeping themselves a little bit guarded they're not really telling you everything. We're getting a card here of not everything being fully revealed yet. We're getting the four of pentacles with this nine of swords. And they may not be telling you what's happening inside of them because they're just letting their fears get the best of them. Why is this three of wands here? The five of pentacles. So we're getting five of pentacles and nine of swords here in the middle. And this is somebody who wants to move... It could have been something that you've been waiting for and it's brought up your fears. It's brought up your anxieties. It's brought up your fear of rejection. It's brought up the energy of uncertainty of whether there's going to be anything coming of this. And you've been looking towards the future. You've been wanting the abundance. The abundance has been at a distance. And so it's causing you or the person you're dealing with to question, um, to question not to question. It's not about questioning the relationship. It's about processing what's coming up for them around it, if that makes sense. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. So funny. I just saw that card. Man, the Spirit's been doing that to me lately, where I'll see a card peek out from the deck, and then I shuffle, and then that card comes out. I mean, it's happening every day. Every day. It used to not happen nearly as often, but now it's like I'm tuned into some crazy energies lately that are super intense and strong. So this person has deep emotions for you or you have deep emotions for them. And again, they're not me. They're not maybe revealing it exactly. They are going to make an offer. You're going to find out, but I don't think you're going to know how deeply their feelings are for you. Even if they're kind of coming forth here with an offer, they may not share with you really how much this means to them. Tell me why the seven of wands is here. And the star, see, this is something that's been destined and something that has the opportunity to heal. This is your wishes coming true. And you know what? I just feel like there's a lot of people that aren't going to like it. Maybe they had a different idea for you, Capricorn. Maybe they had different um, beliefs about what you need to be doing. And all of a sudden, here you are aligning with your destiny. And people are going to be pissy about it, is what it feels like. And tell me about the Seven of Swords. And the devil. See, there's something here that it's this is breaking free of the illusions where you've been deceiving yourself, where you have felt powerless, or this other person has felt powerless. This can be leaving a toxic situation where somebody had been, someone could be leaving a situation where somebody especially with the world here, with something ending, you could be leaving a situation that was very toxic or the person you're dealing with may be leaving the situation that was very toxic. Well, let's see where you are in your headspace regarding this person in November. 
you've got the Ace of Cups. So this is obviously a new start when it comes to something emotional. This is a new beginning in love. You're wanting this situation to begin anew, begin afresh. You're ready for the past to be gone. We're ready for the devil energies to be gone, the illusions. We're getting a lot of cards of illusions here. I kept getting drawn to this version of the moon card. Look at how it's almost like there's a three-headed dog. She's turned her head three different ways. Which way is she really looking? There's a lot of illusion energy here, which is almost like you're breaking free of... It's like you're... I'm getting the image of somebody who gets bonked on the head. And as they're coming to, what they see is really blurry, blurry, blurry. And then suddenly it comes into focus finally. So... That's what I'm getting here as the energy. So let, where you are in your heart space relating to this person in November. The two of swords. So, you know, you may have been feeling a little bit indecisive about what you want to do regarding them. Maybe things have been in a stalemate and you didn't think that this was coming and you're feeling stuck and trapped like it's not up to me. Because this person here, they've got the other people holding the swords in their path going, you can't go forward. No, not ready yet. Not ready yet. And so it's almost like you've been wanting to go forward with this two of cups, but the universe has been stopping you, Capricorn. In fact, why is the two of swords here in the heart space? Let me just get a confirmation. The king of swords. Yeah, you've known what you've wanted. It's just like there's been a, I hate, I'm not going to say the word, a something block in the way. A universal, some, <laughs> universal block coming your way <laughs> that's been here. But you do want this new beginning, but it's almost like it hasn't been able to move forward yet. Let's see where they are in their headspace regarding you in November. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, they want success here. You've got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. They might see you as very successful or be ready to offer the Queen of Pentacles this, this information or this relationship. So they're, they're mature. We've got three kings here. We've got the Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. There's no, I don't see any pages here. You know, the, the, the adolescence of the deck, people that need to mature. Yeah, there's no pages. But there's a knight and three kings, a queen. Let's see what there are in their heart space regarding you in November. Okay, well, here it is. Now we have the queen of swords and the chariot. What, they're, what you have been clear of, guys, this is no accident. What you have been clear with that has been blank blocked <laughs> before, they're now ready to move forward towards you because they have the same clarity. No drama, no BS. Let's go for it. So, in fact, let me get another card here for their headspace. What about you, the Six of Cups? They love you. They feel this this beautiful soulmate energy we're getting started with the two of cups now we have the six of cups they may be wanting to return from the past they may be feeling really nostalgic from the past maybe it's someone you know from your past or maybe it's simply a past life but the six of cups is an energy of um unconditional love and it does feel like they really want to move forward with you capricorn so hope this helps do go check out your other signs and until next time i send you much love bye